with your precision forecast. Off to a cool start this morning, mid to late June. No one even in the lower elevations in the 50s right now. Mid to upper 40s across the Treasure Valley down into the Magic Valley. Twin is at 44. Stanley now 24. McCall at 34, just above freezing. Very light winds, if not calm winds, though, into the mountains. So clear skies, calm winds, all the warmer air escapes out into space. So when you're in the higher elevations, a place like Stanley can really cool off even on a June or July morning. Similar for the Treasure Valley, but lower elevations. So a little bit warmer. There's also some wind moving through the Treasure Valley as well. 44 now for Pocatello, 57 Salt Lake City. The warmer air off to the south and southeast. Vegas is at 81. A couple areas in the northwest still in the 50s, but only thanks to a nice Pacific breeze here. Seattle 51, Portland at uh, 54. Now, as we look at the winds, yesterday we had gusts over 40 miles per hour in many areas. The strongest gusts I saw from yesterday were 48 miles per hour. That was in Mountain Home and one close to 50 at 49 miles per hour. That was in the Boise Mountains up near Flex Summit. And you can see fairly light winds, 11 miles per hour though around Mountain Home, 12 for Twin Falls. I don't think they get much stronger than this today. No wind advisory to deal with in any of these areas. So that's good news because we're still bone dry around the surface, still plenty of fuel for wildfires, but with less wind, we're not too worried, at least with those conditions the next couple of days. Now, there's a weak area of low pressure actually centered over Idaho right now. It's going to keep us cool today. It's also helping to fuel these showers that are moving mainly through Montana. They'll stay off to our north and northeast for today, but high temperatures will really be struggling around here. We're talking some areas in the Treasure Valley that don't even reach 70 degrees by this afternoon. But all of that changes heading into Thursday and Friday. Massive area of high pressure sitting out over the Pacific. Once it starts to build in here, we'll really draw on the warm air from the south and southwest. And I think by Thursday, we're talking highs mid 90s around the valley, across the valley, really, not just Boise. Here's the setup for today. Still have that cool air in place, scattered showers off to the north and northeast. Maybe a mountain shower, though, especially up near McCall and Riggins by later on today. 69 for Nampa, 73 Ontario today, 70 Boise in Meridian. Normal high is 82, so we are well below that even by this afternoon. West Central Mountains a bit on the cool side, slight chance of an afternoon or evening thunderstorm. East Central Mountains cool but comfortable today, 56 in Stanley, 61 in Sun Valley. Magic Valley looks good, mid to upper 60s, moderate breeze out of the west. There's Thursday though, up to 94 in Boise, still close to 90 on Friday. Low 80s this weekend, slight chance of a shower there, or even an isolated rumble of thunder Saturday. By Monday, we're down to 80 with partly cloudy skies. So this weekend, you think for the most part, the wet, the rain should stay out of the way. Yeah, and even if we do run into an isolated shower storm, not going to last all day, don't cancel any outdoor plans over it. Can't so you should mess rent up our rafting trip. Yeah, or your bike riding. You should rent some bikes for your family when they come in town, too. I'm just Take so a little outdoorsy ride on the these yeah. days. Why do you have to do outdoors here? That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the good part about being in the Treasure Valley. I love Valley. it. It's paradise for sure.